trip I've really found it hard to find meaning like what am I doing here and um, all I've done is think about my brother who died recently my younger brother James and um, you know I'm so angry at him because he's caused so much pain with my parents and my sister and myself um, you know He's had so many chances to get help and he accidentally fucking overdosed and um, just it's still hard to believe so um, you know riding a bike isn't leaving your troubles behind it brings them to the surface for me and um, I think with the with the feeling of it, like not, not the anger, but the feeling, the pain, um, comes the healing and it just takes time, but um, you know, life sucks sometimes, it's really good. Fuck up. Jam, like sweet jam. It's quite daunting. All I see is this caution sign. Be beware of the elephant. Just sort of found this track here. <laughs> Think maybe I should go down it and see if I can find a wild elephant. I just hope they're not dangerous. So I keep going down these trails because the chance are, you know, you could see an elephant. This is this is definitely the wild. Look, I mean, I mean, this is very elephanty looking elephant country. I, I would love to just see one on the track, just up here, you know, eating. But they are wild elephants, so I'm assuming they're probably reasonably dangerous. The thing with travelling is I'm conscious of time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put the drone up in this area and see if I can maybe spot a elephant from the air. I, I know it's a long shot, but... I just heard a gunshot. That's pretty scary. I got my drone up. I just hope they're not shooting at my drone. I don't know if there's any elephants here, they've probably been burnt. But um, I'm probably going to turn around because I don't want to get lost. I'm sort of heading deeper and deeper into this forest, all this, this dense bushland.
Hello. I have a YouTube channel. I, I do travel YouTuber. vlogs. I do travel vlogs. You know, you know yes. YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you guys are going to be on YouTube. Sorry. You guys are going to be on YouTube. Right. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm about to hit 10 million followers. Oh. This, this weekend here. This weekend. It's going to be a party on the beach. Oh. Is there a beach in Chiang Mai? No. <laughs> No, no, like a sea beach. Yeah, I forgot. Just forgot like we're like sort a... of inland. I, I was going to go there, but I don't like tourists. So, is it for lots of tourists there? Yeah, probably. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like. Yeah. All tourists there. All tourists. Can you find an elephant in the wild? Uh, I'm in Chiang Mai. Yeah. I'm probably yes, but not in Chiang Mai. Out a bit. Mm. Yeah. Out of, out, out, out of time. Yeah. And would that elephant be friendly? Like, could you pat it and ride it or not? No. No. Can't. No, okay. No. Is the elephant, con what's it called, conservation area, is that just full of tourists? I am, yes. Yeah, so uh, buses of, of tourists? Buses and buses? I am not like buses, buses, but... A lot of people. A lot. So it could attack you. So I wouldn't like go up to it and try and get climb it and ride it or anything like that? No. No. If it's like the real wild. Could you get close to it and like get a selfie or not? Or you'd have to stay away from it? Please stay away from it. Okay. So I've ended up taking the suite because I'm going to stay two nights because I'm so exhausted. So let's check it out. So I did 730 k's today and uh, I'm going to stay here two nights. Chiang Mai. Um, I'm unsure what I'm going to do tomorrow but I've got to get to Laos. I'm thinking that I might not do the elephant farm thing because it'll be full of tourists. I can just imagine it. So I'm in Chiang Mai, I've had a fantastic sleep. I'm going to leave tomorrow morning and I'm going to head to the Laos border. Um, I've made a mess of this whole trip in regards to where the hell I'm going. I'm going to have to stay just outside of the border in Laos as I cross it because that's about a seven hour drive and then I've got about a 12 hour drive the next day to the capital city Vientiane or something like that. This is a really nice resort, I, I don't know the name of it but I'm staying here. It was pretty expensive. I've had to stay in the um, a family suite because I had no rooms left, and um, I found that a lot. That I'm, yeah, I'm just staying in the the top room. Maybe they're just ripping me off. I've got no idea, but anyway, it's pretty nice. Just driven past a fatality. Um, I didn't look, but um, I could tell by the people's face and the stretcher, and this reiterates how. Um, Precious life is, I guess, just be taken away so quickly. Okay, there's something very wrong at the moment. You've got to be happy when you come to a waterfall and the car park is empty. I love a good waterfall. I know it sounds, it sounds a bit lame, but... And is this a good waterfall? Good? Oh, good. Good, yeah. yeah. Many people there or not? Mm. It's always a bit exciting going somewhere you've never been before. Do I look like a tourist? So I think I might go climb that waterfall. What do you reckon? There's a drop off there as well.
The tiger was spotted here a week ago. I'm in the hills and um, it'd be good to see some hill tribe people, like some real ones, not ones that are dressed up like a circus. So, um, you know, I'm just going to keep riding around the hills close to the Burma border to see if I can find a genuine hill tribe person with those, with those um, things around their necks, with the really long necks. Lost my drone again, but it's not like I'm in the Himalayas, so shouldn't be too hard to find. And again, they are pretty steep ridges. So you can see here, that there is where I, where I am. That there is the drone. So I just want to prove to you, you can find your drone if you lose it. And anyone that wants to try and get a good shot, is going to take risks to get the good shot. So, all that footage you just saw comes at a price, but I'm sure the drone won't be broken, or I doubt it will be. But what happened was I ran out of battery in midair. Now I was warned, but I thought, no, I'll just keep getting the shot for a bit longer and a bit longer, turned into a crash. So it should be around here. Hey, hey. Okay, it's missing one of its, its propellers. I just found the propeller, I got the drone. Everything's cool. Sort of cool being at this shop in the middle of nowhere. No one speaks English, I don't. I mean, I speak English, they don't, but I mean, I don't speak Thai. Kabum Kab means thank you, that's all I know. You know, fuel, coconuts, and they sell lots of slippers. <laughs> so, you know, it's just sort of cool being here all alone, no tourists, just me and the bike. And that dog. It's awesome. I've got to get home though. Turn right onto Route 30. Three hours and 31 minutes to get back to Chiang Mai. Jesus. <laughs>
I'm back in my room. That was a bit of a day trip, which was about 600 k's. But um, I have a limit on the bike and it's 300 kilometers a day. I'm already at nearly 3,000, so I'm about 700 k's over. They're gonna charge me five baht. Well, I negotiated, they wanted eight baht, but I negotiated down to five baht per kilometer over. When I get to Laos, um, I'm gonna have a three day break there. So maybe I won't, maybe I'll make up a thousand k's there. Anyway, it's day 10. So, um, so I'm heading to Lao on this, on this pretty ordinary road. Been on it for nearly two hours now. It's telling me six hours to get to the border. Fuck. My fuel gain is totally empty. It was like on 60 k's, it went to nothing. I've seen a thousand service stations and when you, and when you want one, you can't find it. We'll see what empty means in this Kawasaki. Does empty mean really empty or? Or do you still have, you know, a quarter of a tank? Hello. Hello. Some strawberries? Um, is there... Just... Yeah, just one, thank you. Is there... Yeah, yeah. Is there any, um... Fuel? Petrol? Around here? Gasoline. Yes, gasoline. Um, one kilometre. One kilometre up here. Ah, thank you. Yo, fuel pump. a minute saying that I'm having a healthy lunch but I just want to tell you this is when you know you're off the beaten track right so in Bataya I was paying between 60 to 80 baht which is about four to which is about three bucks for a coke right I just bought this so this is my lunch I bought this cheese sandwich which has been sort of microwaved I don't know how that'll taste I bought this which is a caffeine drink so you know, give you a bit of energy and focus. And four Hershey bars, right? So Patea, you're paying 60 to 80 baht for a Coke. All of this lunch, this very nutritious lunch, 109 baht. That's about $4.80. That's six items for $4.80. It's under a dollar an item. It's bloody cheap. That's how you know you're off the beaten track. There's 30 seconds of your life, you want to get back. These tyres were brand new when I picked up the bike and I'm just wondering whether or not they're going to last the whole trip. I've done 3,000 kilometres on them so far. I don't know what brand they are. Hang on, let's look at the back one. So the brand is called Trail Winner. I've not really heard of that before. But um, yeah, I just... I just don't think they're going to last. But anyway, I'll just have to get new ones. Just riding through this national park. There's nothing quite like being on a motorbike where there's no traffic and it's just twisties the whole way. And the scenery is beautiful. This is, these are the moments I love riding a motorbike. And only someone that rides a motorbike understands the feeling you get when you're all alone. It's just you on the machine and corners and you can end up killing yourself quite easily. But it just is concentration and um, yeah, it's good fun. Sat nav is telling me to turn right. Tell me to go up 
Go up that little road right there, that little one. Okay, apparently I'm at the border, but this guy won't let me cross up there saying that that's low, but on the map it doesn't say it is. I'm a bit confused. It's a passport. basically lost in Lao. <laughs> Been out for 12 hours now. It's an hour till the next big town. And um, <clears throat> hopefully there's, there's some um, accommodation there. It's, I've been in these mountain ranges, I don't know how long for now, a few hours, and it's, um, I didn't bring a jumper. Because I thought that this would be sort of humid all year round, but it gets pretty cold out here at night. Oh, oh. 